Welcome to the virtual Caterpillar demo. Uh, I'm Jack Thompson, sales director for Caterpillar. I'm in our, our, uh, one of our offices here. Um, it's a little echoey, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So I thought I'd show you um, the current Caterpillar products, uh, old and new for 2020. Um, let's hop right in. Um, since this is uh, for scrapbookers and stampers um, and paper crafters, we sh should definitely start off with our, our paper trimmers. Uh, we have two different paper trimmers. We have the Caterpillar Pro and the Caterpillar Crop. Um, they both work exactly the same size-wise. Obviously the Pro is bigger, has a drawer that locks shut, um, 12 and a half, or pardon me, 13 by 12 and a half, uh, whereas the crop pulls the arm out to 18 by 12 and a half. So this is obviously meant to be more portable, but they cut exactly the same. So let's see how they cut. Um, you know, a lot of trimmers out there that people have, um, they have their favorites, and, and, but a lot of them have flaws that a lot of people don't like. And one of them is, is cutting straight. This one, the Caterpillar, has a pretty unique cutting system uh, it has a rotary blade here that works on a gear. There's a track under here. This gear system turns the blade at a one-to-one -one ratio and really does all of the work for you. It's a unique, pretty unique cutting system. Not many people have, no one has a, a gear system like that. And you can see with just holding it with one finger, let's see that, with one finger I get absolutely perfect cuts and if you ever want to test your trimmer to see if it's straight just bring those edges together and you'll you'll see instantly if your cutter's straight or not so you can see I'm getting perfect cuts with folding with just one finger I don't worry about that paper so much. this is uh, 30 or 40 pound card stock um, not only do you get straight cuts but you get accurate cuts. You can see, get a little bit smaller there. You can trim off as small as you can hold. That's a, about 64th of an inch. So accuracy, straight, uh, it's fast, so much faster than lifting up a bar, putting a paper down, moving it. But here's the icing on the cake. This is what makes our trimmer stand out. Now, the angle here is not perfect to see that, but you can see, there we go. Uh, it illuminates your cutting line. That's the edge of the blade right there. So if I wanted to cut these pineapples, um, without the light, I just have to eyeball it and hope I'm right. But with the light, it's absolutely a cakewalk. Right with the crop here. Uh, the light is, is four AA batteries will run a year on one set of batteries. Um, they'll go forever. LEDs are 10,000 hour. So these LEDs have a lifetime of use here. Uh, it's, it's almost addicting how much the light, how useful it is. Uh, a great, another great thing about the cutter pillar, because of the cutting system, and actually this hardened blade and this round blade, as they interact together, the, the, the straight blade actually, because it's a harder steel, it actually maintains the round blade, which means uh, you never have to replace the blade. Uh, we have hundreds of thousands of trimmers out there and uh, they all have the original blades on there for 10 years now. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, but you ask, well, what can I cut with it? Um, well, it cuts through any stock you throw out. It cuts through exotic stuff too, like this. This, um, I forget what this is called, uh, this uh, ready board. It cuts ready board as long as it's not too thick. It cuts chipboard, light chipboard. It will not cut bookboard, that's where, but you can see it'll cut right through chipboard. 
Uh, it cuts through glitter paper. And not only does it cut through the exotic thick stuff, but also cuts through the exotic thin stuff. There's not many trimmers out there that will cut through tissue paper. Try this at home with your trimmer and see if you can cut through that tissue paper. And the reason why is because that blade is turning and it's not just dra trying to drag through the paper like this, but the paper, but the blade is actually turning. So, and it's gonna cut like this for years to come. Okay, so let's, we've got two different models. They're both on sale today, 25% off. The prices should be coming up, popping up there. Um, the Crop and the Pro are trimmers. Um, since we're talking about it, uh, lights. Let's talk about our light boards. These are not going to show up great in the video because whenever you try to film light, it always. Uh, these are the thinnest, lightest boards on the market. Uh, we call them the Caterpillar Glow Line. Uh, they are phenomenal for paper crafters. Well, this, let's say this is your page. It's not the right size here, but um, it's nice having a trimmer here. Let's cut this part off. If this were your page, you can see that the lines shine right through here. You got three levels of light. Uh, this is perfect for planning out your pages, making sure all of your embellishments and your photos line up on a grid. Um, it's great for card making for the same reason. Um, you can shine through here. The great thing about this is you can cut on this. This is a cutting mat. Now certainly you can pull this off and use it uh, for like weeding vinyl. It's perfect for that. It'll shine up through the cracks um, on, on all of your uh, vinyl projects. It's perfect for that. But you can cut on this. This is a PVC mat. Uh, you can use our rotary cutters or any rotary cutter or exacto knife, you name it, and you can cut right on this. And it's a self-filling mat, so it's going to last for a good, good long time. Um, we have three different models of the Vogue. We have this one. This is the basic. Um, this is a price point model here, under hundred dollars. Then. have the premium and you can see the premium is working with no cord that is the beauty of the premium it has an internal battery here and it lasts for about an hour charge you get about three three and a half hours of of charge time this is also super thin and light uh, that's the caterpillar glow premium not even going to fill up the, it's going to be bigger than the screen. This is the Caterpillar Glow Ultra. This is the biggest, brightest board on the market. The mat I have on here is one of our accessory mats. You can see it's a little different than the one I had on the, on the, on the premium, which comes standard with the lines. This is an add-on, which um, paper crafters and quilters really like because there's no grid. You can put things under here to trace. Cut fabric on here. You can see a lot of our soft crafters love this for putting their um, their plans out on here and and then cutting out on that. Um, so that's the Caterpillar Ultra. Great accessories. Everything has a tote. Uh, this is the tote for the crop. What's nice about these is they have little seat belts. You pop it right in there. Seat belt it in. This 
zips shut. This is a padded nylon with full zipper handles, shoulder strap, and an internal pocket for all of your miscellaneous stuff here. Uh, we also have one for the Pro here. Same thing, but a little bit bigger. And of course we have totes for the uh, gloves as well. This is the tote for the, the basic. This is a, a little different. This is neoprene, which we really like for that. It's kind of like a laptop bag. They all have um, metal hardware, and uh, this has. they all have a little tote to put on your totes or your suitcases. And of course we have the, the tote for the Ultra right here, and this has got reinforced feet, shoulder straps, full extra thing. Uh, there. So lots of accessories. Um, let's bring it back a little bit. Show you some other accessories. You can swap out, like I said, the gridded mat. These are very inexpensive, by the way, for the ungridded mat. There. And this is a favorite for our paper crafters. This is the mixed media mat. This is a tempered glass mat. It is indestructible. These are one of our little um, clamps here. You can hold, they'll hold up about 15 pounds. Um, what's nice about this is you can glue on it, you can paint on it, mod podge, stamp. It is indestructible. You can iron on it. You can actually iron on it, this too. That's why a lot of our quilters love it because they can do their fusibles and all of their, their needle turning on this right on top of it. This is the same glass that they use on on um, stove tops. So that's a really inexpensive add on. Uh, last, I'm going to show you our, our newest product. This is called the Caterpillar Crease. This is, um, we tried to do the same thing we did with paper cutting to, with uh, scoring. Um, so before I show you how to score, I'll show you how not to score. This is one of our competitors' um, scoring tools, bone. Folder, um, and you can see when I'm not real careful and I go to score, if I don't do that just perfect, I get this really ugly edge. You can see, uh, and sometimes I'll go too far, really ugly, even if I go both directions. This is um, 80 pound cardstock, and the reason why a lot of people don't like to score 80 pound cardstock, especially if you don't score with the grain, is because of these really ugly edges. We have solved this problem. And this is how we've done it. First of all, we have this scoring tool that works two ways. If you want to do something in a hurry, like a box or something, you can use the stylus edge and push it into the corner there. I did it the wrong way, but. Uh, and it's a much better edge. Although sometimes if you don't do it with the grain, you'll still get this ugly edge. Um, but this is a great way to do it. You can see it's already better than that one. But what we really have done differently here is created this new way to score. This is called a scoring rule. Here, let's pick this up just a bit. Here we go. Now what's cool about the scoring rule is it, is it, it creates a new way to score. So uh, let's see, my paper here is 11 inches. So I will score at five and a, I'll find five and a half. Put that tick right at five and a half. It goes down into the grooves. Now, once I have that, I use this end. It's got this little channel. Oops, here we go. A little channel here. The channel goes over the scoring rule and makes this wonderful score, which is so much better than, so much better than use the bone folder. A perfect score and you can fold it both ways you don't have to fold one or the other you get a nice flat side there or you can fold this way so this will change your card making um, this is called the cutter pillar crease now here's a bonus we made it translucent so you can use it in tandem with the glow and it's a little hard to see through the video but actually we made the positive lines uh, 
we made them opaque and the negative lines are translucent. So it actually shows through. You could start your scores if you wanted to in the middle for some exotic box or something like that. Uh, without that, you could not do that, which is it's a really cool accessory to use with the glow. Um, okay, I think that's gonna cover it today. Um, this is a new, our newest project. Product. This is called the Flex. It's a little sewing machine light. It goes on the cradle here for some of our people. Three different lights. You recharge it for an hour and you get uh, about eight to 12 hours of youth with, it, with this. So lots of cool stuff. Sorry, we felt like we were rushing. Uh, we just want to tell you we miss you guys and we hope to see you soon. Take care. Thank you.